To position yourself for success, surround yourself with as many successful people as you can. My goal is to go from zero to 100,000 subscribers in six months, which is why I decided to go to VidSummit this year. There, I not only was able to network with some of the biggest YouTubers, but I was also able to sneak into some of the most exclusive parties. Now, how did I do it? In this video, I'm gonna take you through the journey of how I got into each VIP event, and then I'm gonna share the key takeaways I learned from the big YouTubers. During the story, make sure to pay close attention to the tactics I use so you can position yourself for success in your your own life. Let's start with why I chose to invest in VidSummit in the first place. There are two main big YouTuber conferences that go on each year. One is VidCon and the other is VidSummit. VidCon is primarily focused on YouTubers who want to meet their fans and vice versa. Then there's VidSummit, which is where YouTubers go to network as peers and learn from each other to grow and build their communities. Since my goal is to grow my YouTube channel, it was easy to spot the winner. It's worth noting VidSummit is not cheap. The tickets were $1,000 plus airfare plus hotel, but I saw this as an investment opportunity. Even though I just quit my job, I knew that I would make the money back in the long run. So we have a small problem. My flight was delayed significantly and I missed my connecting flight. And now my new flight's at 4 p.m. so I'm gonna show up late to the event. After nearly missing the first night due to multiple flight delays, I get to VidSummit relatively on time. Immediately after arriving, they make everyone get a COVID test. So while I'm standing in line, I try to meet the person in front of me. He's this really nice young guy, and he tells me that he does magic on TikTok. That's when I find out that he is Sean Does Magic and has over 20 million followers. That was in the first five minutes of being there. Then I go to the elevator to drop off my luggage in my room. My room's on the 14th floor and I end up alone in the elevator with one of my favorite YouTubers, Thomas Frank. I was a little bit starstruck, so when he asked me what my channel was about, I said, just like yours, but worse. I think I took my self-deprecating humor a little too far there. When I go back to my elevator, there he is again, but tells me that he watched my YouTube video. I was both shocked and honored at the same time. My original plan was to go to all the lectures and soak up as much information as I could. That changed when I received this key advice from a fellow creator. He tells me the lectures are all recorded, so we'll have access to the replays after the event. The opportunity to meet people, however, will only happen during these three days. So I changed my strategy. He continues, hang out in the common areas and meet as many people as possible. So that's what I did. This led to a conversation with Daryl Eves, who was sitting in a booth with barely anyone around him. You might not know who this is, but he's the guy running the event. We had a solid 15 to 20 minute conversation where I shared my story of how I quit my job as a software engineer to pursue my dreams of becoming a YouTuber. I also shared how grateful I was for him to have put on this event in the first place. I wanna make it clear that I entered this conversation with no expectations. I only wanted to leave an impression on him should we ever cross paths in the future. At the end of the first night, I get a plug from one of my friends, Jack Selby, that there's going to be a VIP party happening at a nearby Dave & Buster's. He said as much as he would love for me to come, there wasn't much he could do to get me in. Of course that didn't stop me. I thought to myself, this is Dave & Buster's. I should just be able to float around and look for influencers to connect with. So I follow him to his ride, who happens to be Isaiah Photo. Yes, the guy who traded sand for a Tesla. And also joining us would be Eric Way, the founder of Carrot Card, a popular credit card for influencers. During that car ride, I discovered that there's going to be another VIP event the next day, this time a poker night, but exclusively for carrot card holders, which obviously I'm not. So I took that information and stored it in my back pocket for now. Constantly pay attention for new opportunities. Each opportunity is positioning yourself closer to success. We arrived to Dave & Buster's. To my surprise, they bought out the entire place and there were two large bodyguards in front making sure that you were in fact VIP. At this point, I was losing hope that I could get in. So I got in line. It was there I noticed that right inside the entrance was Daryl Eve greeting everyone. Earlier that day, we made a genuine connection, so I took my shot. I quickly lowered my mask, smiled, and waved at him. He smiles back and tells the bodyguards to let me in. Relationships are the only thing that matter. That alone will make you successful. Obviously, this wasn't planned. I did get lucky but I did everything in my control to get lucky. I'll admit I was a bit nervous at first to be surrounded by all my favorite YouTubers. Act like you belong in places you don't. Try to practice doing that now so that when you approach these people, you can have the best opportunity for success. A main overarching theme is I noticed successful people are very nonchalant, cool, calm, and collected. I did my best to act cool and not fangirl everyone. The coolest part was seeing everyone hanging out like normal people. Soon after I arrived, I noticed a tall gentleman nonchalantly standing by himself. It was Brett Knudsen. In case you don't know him, he's one of the most connected people on the planet. He helps monetize some of the biggest players online, such as Jay Shetty, Grant Cardone, and Jordan Belfort. 
aka the wolf on wall street he's also very proud of his ability to social hack his way to success so what i did was i said okay well if i want to launch a social platform i want to work with all these influencers and celebrities and stuff to help promote it i don't know any and if i dm justin bieber he's not going to respond so how do i get in the room with these people i knew he would appreciate my sneaking into the event so i approached him i told him the same story of how i got in and he loved it we ended up having a conversation that lasted over an hour and it was all about positioning yourself for success here's a cool tip he taught me if you're seeking mentorship from someone then pay attention to the current problems that someone is having and then be the solution in exchange for some time do not approach them in person or dm them on instagram until you have the solution they don't care how you solve the problem just solve it even if it's connecting that person with the right person to fix the issue you win Near the end of the event, my phone dies. Now I have no idea how to get home because Isaiah already left. When they eventually kicked everyone out, I noticed someone familiar. It was Naz Daly, one of the biggest Facebook creators on the planet. He was just outside with his girlfriend, hanging out, waiting for an Uber. I took a cute photo of them and then we ended up Ubering back to the hotel together. What I learned here is to try to show up as early as possible and stay as late as possible. This increases your chances of meeting successful people. One thing leads to another. Soon after we get back, he invites me to his hotel room with a few other people and we end up hanging out till 2 a.m. I was really exhausted at the time because I usually go to bed at 9.30, but I knew I had to be in that room. No one else was in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. Remember that poker night that's happening the next day? Well, during that conversation, I find out that he's not only co-hosting that poker night, but he paid for 60% of it. So at the end of the night, I shoot my shot and ask him if I can attend. He said, of course, just make sure to say that I personally invited you. There was my ticket in. The rest of the event went pretty smoothly and the next night I went to poker night. Welcome, to the whole point of today is for you to make friends and lose money. <laughs> so please buy money. So let's just remind you of the rules to make sure you're okay. Okay, serious one. Okay, so hundred to five hundred dollars. You cannot buy more than a thousand dollars. If you want to buy more money, you Venmo. The poker night had $100 and $500 buy-ins, a private masseuse, and catered food. The people who showed up were too busy and too important to make it to the actual event, but they made it to this one. It was such an amazing time, and I exchanged contact information with as many people as I could. After about an hour or so, I left to catch a flight back home. And that's the art of positioning yourself for success. Hello. So tell me, man, what's your biggest struggle? Views, bruh. Can't get the views.